things I do for money I'll never understand. The world is just a marble in the palm of my hand. That's part of a song that I wrote while I was watching TV. <laughs> High winds, northern sky will carry you away. You know you have to leave here. You wish that you could stay. There's four directions on this map, but you're only going one way. Do south. That's the way I'm going to sell. That's a theme song for a television series that I did. And I wrote that while I was talking on the phone. <laughs> now, the subconscious mind, to me, is where most of the cool ideas come from. My whole point of singing those two songs was to show you that I wasn't really occupied with those tasks. But at the, because I wasn't occupied with them and I was able to create a bit of a groove, those ideas were able to rise to the surface. There's a few exercises that I'll talk about later on, but one of the things that I was doing while I was, both, while I was doing both those tasks and writing those pieces of music was freeform writing, which is where I'm doing, kind of doing two things at once. I'm observing things or whatever, and at the same time, just letting my hand flow freely along there. Now, inspiration and creation, to me, are just as integral to us as humans as your heart and lungs and breathing. And we all have it in them, all have it in us, whether, whether we think so or not. I think we're all artists. We all write our own novels every day. We all write our own screenplays and act in our own films every day. We all make our own paintings every day. We're all visual artists. It's all part of what we are and what we do. And I think most of that's the, the coolest ideas that exist within that world are in the subconscious, which is not the easiest thing to tap into. But today I'm going to talk about a couple things that I've done that work for me to help to be able to tap in there. Now, I find that uh, this is a weird analogy, but lots of people I think can maybe relate to this. I find my brain is like a little aquarium, a little fishbowl, and there's two goldfish living in there. There's Mr inspiration on one side and there's Mr. Creation on the other side. Now Mr. Inspiration gets stimulated by things. They're divided as well. There's a little sort of acrylic divider between them. So they have their own. <laughs> They're not exactly in the same pool at the same time. But anyway, Mr. Inspiration, he gets physical stimulus. He gets sometimes shocked by things and he doesn't know why. He doesn't know why they, they're there. Sometimes they just show up. And it gets him excited, and he's flipping around, and he's going, whoa, this is cool, this is cool. Mr. Creation on the other side, he notices that, and he goes, I want some of that. Whatever that is, whatever's going on there, I want it. So he starts flipping around, too, and flipping around, and then he sends messages down into the physical part of the body and into the brain, which leads to creating things. Now, the thing is with the goldfish analogy is you need to know when the fish are jumping, when the fish are active. And that's really sometimes one of the more, more difficult things. And like I say, creativity is something that we all have inside us, and we can all use that in all aspects of our life. There's nothing, there's no rule saying this person does this, this person does that. We're all the same, and we all have that as an integral part of our being. If I had to, uh, if I had to tell you a couple things about what I do, one of them is I write music for film and television. I'm given a set of parameters where here's a set period of time. We have to have a piece of music that fits in that, and we want to create a certain mood with that music. Now, my challenge is, as a music composer, to really be inspired and find something a little bit out of the ordinary, and something that doesn't really follow all the rules all the time, necessarily. Now, granted, when I talk about mining this raw material from your subconscious. I'm taking for granted that there is, a, there is a set of parameters that you've used before. There is a lot of work and practice and practical knowledge that's gone into this so that you can actually tap into this. What ends up happening is I have to find a way to, to mine that material. What I end up doing is creating a groove. I find that's the thing that works for me and it works in so many parts of my life. If I start creating a groove, doom, 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 whatever that might be, and, you know, you can create a drum loop. I, I like to just do it in my head. I find that when I get 
over-occupied with existing pieces of music and existing grooves, it kind of takes me, takes me away and forces me somewhere else. When I create my own groove, all of a sudden I get into that zone where I start mining that thing, that thing that comes out of your subconscious that creates the cool ideas. Now the other thing I do mainly is songwriting. and A lot of that is co-writing with other people who I may not necessarily know. And what we have to do is create a theme from square one, sit down in a room and work on music together, put words and, and a beat and a melody together so that we can have something finished. And that's really what I ultimately get paid for sometimes. And I use it for all sorts of different purposes. So the, once again, the thing I have to do there is set a groove, get something going. And the other thing I like to do within both these things is to set a color. I like to think of music as a color. You can look at, no matter what, what, where you want to go with it or what angle you want to look at it, there are dark colors, light colors. And if you sit there and set the groove, it'll come to you. You just have to relax and let it go. Now there's three exercises that I found really useful for me doing this. And one of them, and I, I highly recommend this to everybody. What you'll find by doing these as well is that you'll find a better self-knowledge will happen as a result. You'll find your relationships with other people will not necessarily improve, but you'll be more aware of what's going on there. And you'll generally feel better about yourself. Your life will take on a little more meaning. And like I say, we're all artists. We have this inside us. The three things that I recommend, one of them is right before you go to sleep, write down your final thought or record it on a little tape recorder. Or oh, tape recorder. Digital, perhaps a digital recorder. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still an analog LP record guy at the end of the day. You know, so. Anyway, you, right before you go to sleep, write down or record that thought. Right as soon as you wake up, write down and record that thought. I guarantee you, if you do that for three weeks in a row, you will come up with an amazing set of words, phrases, and paragraphs that will literally blow you away and you'll be going, wow, this is, this is what's really going on in my life. The other thing I really recommend is while you're driving or while you're walking, take out your, take out your iPod, create your own groove, and don't be afraid to stop every once in a while and write down a word. Use, a, once again, a digital or tape recorder. Record a word. Take a look at that a month later. Go through it, and you'll be shocked at all the things you can, all the things you can find in there. And the third thing is freeform writing, like I was talking about before. Whereas you sit down, you're watching TV, you're doing any, any task you feel like doing, and have a pen and a pad of paper and just let, let your thoughts go. I have come up with many, many interesting ideas and I know many, many friends who are writers that have come up with many interesting ideas as a result of freeform writing. Highly recommend it. Like I say, we're all artists. We all have that inspiration and creativity inside us. I think it's really, really important for all of us to try and tap into that. There's many, many ways you can do that and I could probably talk for hours about this. But anyway, there's some ideas to hopefully get you on the right track with that stuff and Maybe it'll be of use to you. Thank you very much.